Hello everybody. So this is an example of a solution from a problem on codewars.com. The problem was to replace the hyphens or the underscores and convert to camel case. As you can see in the second image down here, we've got two underscore camel underscore case, which is the name of the function that they've asked us to create. We're passing in ampersand text because we are borrowing text the text string so and then we're printing it out that's just my variation um, so next this is the actual start of the camel case function we're passing in text slice we're going to return a string blue arrow let mute so again this variable is basically a boolean to keep track of whether the previous character was a hyphen or an underscore. If it was, then it will be true. If it wasn't, then it will be false. It's important to name these with a sensible name. I know when you, or previously when I've written code, I've just called a temp, I've called a variable temp, and before you know it, you'll have temp, temp1, temp2, and temp doesn't give you any idea of when it was populated, whereas prev tells you that the previous character was either hyphen or underscore. We'll create a new string. The new string is going to be what we will add to and then ultimately return. So we're just using string new with empty parentheses. Right, this is where the fun starts. We are doing 4C in text.cars. Cars is an iterable or an iterator that will allow us to get characters one by one or iterate through characters one by one where text is equal to this string here, the stealth warrior. So as we go through the Stealth Warrior, we're first we're going to find a capital T, then a lowercase h, then a lowercase e, and so on and so on. As we go through that string, we want to say if character of the current iteration is equal to hyphen or an underscore. We just want to set this variable, previous hyphen underscore, to true. We're not actually going to do anything else. We're not going to add to our, our new string. All we're going to do is just set that to true and then move on. Then if the previous was a hyphen or an underscore, no, that that's true. Remember to put the double equals there. We're going to add that. We're going to add the current character. We're going to push that to the new string. previous hyphen underscore we're going to then set to false so if the previous was an underscore we're going to pass an uppercase version of the current character we're going to push that onto our new string once we've done that previous hyphen underscore we have to set back to false so if neither of those two are true, then the default is just to push the current character onto the string. So if C is a hyphen or an underscore, then we just set previous hyphen underscore to true. If previous hyphen underscore is true, then we pass the uppercase version of a current character to a new string. Otherwise, we just put our character onto the new string anyway. And then we return the new string. The stealth warrior. And that's from passing in the underscore stealth underscore warrior with capitals for the stealth and warrior. So that is equal to line three there, the underscore stealth warrior. 
Had we passed in lowercase, let's, let's run this one then, shall we? Had we passed in the first example, run that. We get lowercase there. Why did we get lowercase there? Because the previous wasn't set. Previous hyphen underscore wasn't set to true. So we we didn't do the first part of the if. We didn't do the else if. So all we did was we just did new string push. So when we put in the with the lowercase t, line 25 runs. This could probably be tidied up using match. And I may well go and try to do that. For now, this works. I've tested it. It got accepted on Code Wars. I would probably recommend trying this just with ifs and else and ifs. If, else, if, and else. If you can do that, then yeah, try and match, which is what I will be going off to do now. So thanks for watching and back soon.